Hello and welcome back to this versus North American tournament. We've got Doomsday versus Pumpatendo right here for you in this quarterfinal. There's going to be one more quarterfinal than obviously going on to the semifinals. I'm unknown availability and I've got Philly Doe with me. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. I'm excited to be back. Just finished up here with the last couple matches. They've been exciting so far. A lot of funky levels, a lot of timeout so it's always exciting this format here is it's quite different to our you know the regular league you know where you, you know, of course here you have the players in the same room which is a big change oh yeah and and it's kind of fun to watch this this heads up like competition go like this instead of it being on different different screens and everything of this nature you're actually fighting each other it's, it's more of a a direct competition than just who can do what faster so i i like that yeah, we got. Uh, we'll see who wins uh, the PvP match up here. <laughs> That's uh, we got some boost pads going on here. Boost pads and all of these these power ups going on, man. Like wow, just straight hold right and jump. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, there's a, a lot of levels like this, and this one's already over though. So oh, that will be first blood right there. Score one. And as you see at the bottom, it does say first to five. You're going to see the little uh, little portraits change at the bottom, so that way you know who is who. So as they enter each actual match, they're going to change their characters between Mario, Luigi, and Toad. So. Chat Indeed, going with so. the memes. <laughs> Milo robbed of the win, just immediately seeing the competition of Pumpatendo and Doomsday and saying, I'm out. I'm quitting. <laughs> you know, I, I feel bad for Milo. He's lost every single map <laughs> in course the, today. <laughs> oh, I'm telling you, man, you, you gotta you gotta go with the underdog. I'm, I'm betting Milo to win it all in the end in the Super Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see if he makes a surprise appearance in the grand finals. Maybe he'll start to play the levels and take over. All right, so they have to collect 100 points. And I did not catch if it said all or any. Hopefully it is any. It that says is at least. Yeah. Okay, that's good, because that means they can skip a few and kind of plan ahead. Because you want to be the last one to grab it, so that way you can grab the actual clear condition and hit the gold tape. Because if you have the clear condition, you have to... You're the only one that can touch the, the gold tape. Your opponent can't, but they both right. actually die here. They're all opting to to just hold right. They're not bothering. There's a I see a ton of coins in that underneath the area right at the start there, but they're all just going straight for the pipe. Oh no, going right back in the pipe. But probably just to avoid getting hit. Yeah, this is a tough little. Uh, you got to be careful here, otherwise you're gonna. Okay, can't see what's going on. All right, if they do have. I was like, is there ground down there? Are they going to have to jump? Yeah, I wasn't sure if there was a floor. I, I, I was like, I'm going to have a quite, quite a tricky jump if there isn't. Now, it does look like there's uh, there's like a tin coin sitting in the key door. But I don't know. Maybe the, uh, maybe the big dude there has a key and you just need to kill him off to go into the key door. Yeah, now, that's always a possibility. You can have a small idea of how many coins they got, because they haven't really killed too many enemies. Uh, even though the enemies do give points, the coins give you 100 points per coin. So you have somewhat of an idea, but the more enemies they kill, the less idea. Right, and it's sort of as they... Especially if they become separated from each other, kind of hard to know what if they've gotten a coin or it's been an enemy. And no, <laughs> well, there goes the power-ups for the rest of the game. <laughs> yeah, let's hope they don't need those. So they make their way up here into the pipe. Well, looks like uh, this gentleman here may drop a coin. Let's see who gets Boom Boom first. Because he this goes is back least. and forth between them. 
So this is an at least, so they just need to collect at least 100 points. And it looks like there's quite a few coins all over the place. So it's looking like there's a, the wall is blocked off over there. I don't know if that was to bomb through or if just the key is going to go through the other side. Speaking okay. of the key, Pump steals that away and gets through the block first. So, oh. yeah, no one, not able to get the, the flag yet, so they're... They're a little bit off. They probably just need a few more coins. And there was enough coins at this beginning that they could go through and, and definitely collect something. So it's um it's anybody's game at this point. Right, and they know their route now to get to the flag. And oh, right uh, there. So there it is. That's the clear yeah. condition now for Pump. And Doomsday can't go to the end and just wait unless he... He's going to have to wait a little bit earlier than the actual flag, which that, there's a death right there on Doomsday. That's that's unfortunate. Pumpatendo has a very good advantage coming forward um, with a bunch of damage boosts in that cat suit. Well, there Takes one down. there. Well, and that, see, with that part there, though, it's nice. They can just float down, right, because there's the ground underneath, so not needing to worry about making any sort of wall jumps at the bottom. Smart not killing that big guy, that's going to be harder for Doomsday to come back. But if he's not careful, he can die and leave that clear condition just floating around. He needs to be very careful where he lands. Right, and that uh, power-up block with the cat suits from earlier, is uh, that one was destroyed. So, yeah, as they comes right by it now. 80 seconds left in the clock. Yeah, starting to run out of time. Got to be careful with this right here. Good jump there. All right, and this is the very end. Just gotta do this ground pound. And, oh well, yeah, he can just float into this. He doesn't actually have to, which is fortunate. So this should do it. And there we go. He's got the goal. So that's two nothing lead for Pompitendo at the moment. But it's still anybody's game. You can go on a pretty good streak with a with the right set of levels that are just quick hold right and get ahead. And you know, your opponent accidentally takes a death. That's the that's kind of the fun thing about versus is that an unfortunate death can put you way ahead, not even realizing. Yeah, absolutely. You you end up in the right spot and can make some big moves. Right, Pumpatendo is going to be Mario, and then you've got Doomsday as Toad. Jacob World One Two is where we're at right now. Not Jimmy's World, not Bobby's World. Jacob. That's right. Are they here? Oh. <laughs> One of, the, I think that was uh, Doomsday accidentally picking up Milo. Trying to give him the win. He's like, come on, Milo, I got you. Let's go. I'm a part of Team Milo here. <laughs> Listen, I think if you can carry him to the end, through the level into the flag, he deserves it. <laughs> you should get two points. You should get two points, and one of them is a major bro point. Like, seriously. He said, come on, Luigi. We, we've got, we've got a, a level to win. <laughs> Pumpatendo is ahead right now, making his way through. Through the P-Switch uh, section here. Bunch of bonus coins, but this one doesn't have the clear condition, so no need for them to chase those. Fortunately, the Lover Creator, creator did put the clear in, or did put the P-Switch in a actual uh, block, so it wasn't going to be gone just from somebody using it. Um, Pumpatendo right, did yeah. get the clear again. So three now in a row, and that's the lead. Three nothing for Pumpatendo at the moment. Still a chance though for Doomsday to get back into it. So on to the next one here. It'll be our fourth course. Yeah, Pumpatendo is, is working his way through a 
a sweep here. Let's see if Doomsday can actually get caught up. Ooh, I like it. This is SMW. Good, good level name to start. So, let's see how we do on this one. Doomsday does power. get the mushroom there. Trying to stop Pumpetendo from getting a power up as well, but really just keep moving. Get through this level. You gotta win one, not not prevent. Oh good try good try there to get a hit. Yes! Oh no! Oh, oh that's so close! Takes... The frame save him there! <laughs> oh. oh wow, what is this? Almost making it up into that top route. If that if, I bet you if he'd made it up that top route, he would have had a sizable lead on it. Pro yeah, you could probably just run straight, hold right, I would imagine. Makes Doomsday. it to the checkpoint. Sizable lead making it to the checkpoint. Pumpetendo missed it, falling short. And there's the end. Doomsday stopping the full sweep. We've got uh, right back in the match now. Trails by two. Really well done by Doomsday. Playing a little bit of defense, a little bit of interference there, but really not having to. And the the short jump by Pumpatindo put Doomsday ahead in that one. So going in, you're going to have Pumpatindo as Toad and Doomsday as Mario. Monty Mountain SMB1. Oh, that looks fun. <laughs> Could be quite a start here. They both make it through, and they're pressing into each other. The first one to jump might die. Bumped <laughs> into making it through. Doomsday stealing the power up. That's actually what got him the win last time. <laughs> Playing up just enough. Now Pump is keeping his power up. Unfortunately, a death on Doomsday's side. Checkpoint now for Pumpetendo, so we'll have a bit of a lead. Makes it through without taking any damage there as well, which is nice. Able to save it for that one there, get through that section. The, the moles are coming. <laughs> oh man, oh, yeah, dear. Just, they weren't lying. This is Monty Mole Mountain. This is evil. I'm I'm just gonna throw something out here. I know that's the name of the level, but that's that's too many moles. <laughs> uh, this must be the end. Coming up to the end now. It's like an anthill here. When you have the star run, you pretty much reach the end. Right there. And the coin arc, so right to the top of the flag. Pompatendo staying. I'll take one back, please. So we'll lead 4-1. Match point now. But still always a chance for Doomsday to get back into it. Right, going into the possibly final match of this quarterfinal. Let's see what we have on the list. You've got Doomsday as Luigi and Pumpatendo as Toad. Is there a connection between Toad and the fact that he has mushrooms on his head? I don't know. You decide. 20 seconds text of dex test of dexterity. This is one of those ones that has to be cleared on the first attempt, or more than likely, or time will run out and we'll have to move on to the next level. Oh, no. Amatendo does get through ahead. There's 15 seconds. He's going to have to make all the right decisions. Well, making it through so far. Almost shortchanging that jump. Four seconds. Oh. There it is. There he is. Pompatendo wow. takes it 5-1 decisively. Ex yeah, extremely clean play there. We've not a lot of speed runs we've actually seen cleared. So well done. So GG's to Pompatendo. Gonna be going on into the actual semifinal rounds. Now I'm not exactly sure who they're gonna be facing, but uh, we got quarterfinals coming up right away. We're running a little bit behind, so we're going to cut this short, and we're going to be working on bringing up the next quarterfinal match. Uh, Philly, it was wonderful commentating. 
yeah, you as well. We'll see you folks in the next one. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next match coming up right away.